Hi everybody. This is Evangelist Portia Mike Iver coming to you with breaking news. Number one, Israel is at war. Hamas bombed a house. Well, Hamas bombed houses over in Tel Aviv. And um, in one of the houses, there was a family. And um, from what I'm understanding, they all got hurt, even the children that were there. And actually, um, the dogs, I think they had there, the dogs were killed. Um, I've got to find an update on how the people are. But they literally bombed Tel Aviv, the houses in Tel Aviv. Um, as you all know, at that particular time, if you haven't heard it, I'm telling you now, at that particular time, um, Netanyahu was here in the United States having a meeting with our illustrious president, Donald John Trump. They had a meeting and, um, you know, they're trying to get that um, agreement between Palestine and Israel signed. And they had other things to talk about, but they had a meeting and they had to cut it short because they contacted Netanyahu from Israel and said they were being bombed. Now look, my mom had a saying, when the cats away, the mice will play. That's what happened. The man was clear over here in the United States. He had to cut his meeting short to go back and see about his nation. Um, sometime in April, they're supposed to have a, um, they're supposed to be voting for a president. Now, I'm hoping that Netanyahu will get back in because so far he and our president get along good. And they're trying to get this peace agreement uh, put forth and signed. That's not the way God wants it. But according to the Bible in Revelation, that's the way it's going to be. It's going to be a two-state nation. They don't. Israel does not want that, but Palestine does. Actually, Palestine wants to run Israel off into the water, you know. But that's not happening. We know that. But um, right now, Israel has um, the Gaza Strip. They have the West Bank, the West Bank, and there's one more place, and I can't. I think it's Syria, but I'm not. Don't repeat me on that because I'm not sure. But the thing about it is that uh, what I'm saying is that prophecy is fulfilling itself. The Bible said this will be, and it is coming to pass. Um, President Trump's son-in-law is steady out there trying to get this peace agreement signed, and if that peace agreement is signed. I want you to read Matthew, the 24th chapter, and see what happens in the third year of that peace agreement. Now, I'll be honest with you, the church won't be here. But in the third year of that peace agreement, the Antichrist is going to, the man of perdition, the one who is going to be taken over, by Satan, he is going to turn on everybody. And he's going to turn from nice guy to demon, the real person that he is. Oh, and let me tell you, there are going to be some other things that are going to happen. Not just that. That's actually, with all the other stuff that's going to happen, that's really minor. You know, he's bad. But then you have the beast, the mark of the, the beast, the image of the beast and the Antichrist. The three of them are going to get together and they're going to tear this world up. You don't want to be here then. Uh, no, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just telling you what the Word of God says. You don't want to be here then. Now, tonight on Blog Talk Radio, I am going to do a program. Uh, no, it's not what I'm talking about now. But, and I will get to that later on. But my 
topic will be the dy dynamics of salvation. A lot of people don't understand what happened, how it began in the beginning. And that's why I'm going. I'm going to do more than one part, but tonight is part one of the dynamics of salvation. So join me on Blog Talk Radio. I will leave the um, link in the description. And um, I'm going to be on at 6 p.m. tonight. Hopefully it's going to be 6 p.m. every Wednesday night. And then I'm going to expand. And I will give you the time change when I do. I'm just starting. But, you know, y'all need to know something. There's some stuff going on out there in the world that you don't know. And we're so busy being angry with each other. We are part of God. When he made Adam, he made Adam and Eve. He made Adam, then he took Eve out of his side. And he formed Eve from the dust of the earth, just like he did Adam. And they became one. Eve without Adam would have never been because she came out of him. But let me tell you something. The serpent or Satan got into it because he presented himself as a serpent. And oh, there's some more stuff I found out. And over the months, I'm going to continue to come and let you know what I'm finding out. And you're going to be shocked at some of the stuff I've heard or some of the stuff I know. And I've vetted it and I'm going to bring it here. And I'm going to, you know, let you know what is what. But if you're not saved, if you are not God's child, if you have not given your life to Christ, do so now. Because the time is coming really fast. The Bible says in the last days, perilous times shall come. Which means horrible times, trying times. Times like you've never seen before in your life. And let me tell you, men and women, brothers and sisters, ooh, the stuff that's going to be let loose on this earth. See, the tribulation, as we know it, yeah, that's bad. But then there comes the wrath of God. And when that comes, ooh, you don't want to be here because every demon in hell is going to be let loose. You don't want to be here. There are things out there that you don't want to see. You don't even want to know. Hallelujah. I would not be caught after the tribulation or doing the tribulation. I would not be caught here after God catches the church home. And I know what people say. There is no such thing as a rapture. But you know what? I'll explain that to you later. Because it is it's not called the rapture. It's called a catching away. But someone decided to call it the rapture. I'll explain that later. But get yourself together. If you don't know God, get to know him. Open your Bible and read about him. And while you're reading about him, ask him for forgiveness. Say, Lord, forgive me for everything that I've done that was not like you. Forgive me for taking so long. Lord, come into my life and do something amazing with it. And he would do just that. Then I want you to go find you a church that's preaching the word of God and get yourself baptized in the name of Jesus and then go as you learn and teach somebody else. Make a disciple of someone else. It's your responsibility. If you're in this earth, it's your responsibility to do just that. That's why God created man in the first place. This is Evangelist Portia Mac Iver saying, If you're not saved, give your life to the Lord today. If you are saved, stay saved. Get even stronger. Keep your foot in the path and on the straight and narrow. Because wide is the way to hell, but narrow is the way to Christ. Love you all. Bye-bye.